Right now, Governor Ron DeSantis is talking about a new COVID-19 rapid antigen test in Florida, and he is moving the state, as you know, into phase three. Let's get more from NBC6 anchor Carlos Suarez live from Wynwood this afternoon. Uh, Carlos, the governor sounded pretty excited about this new rapid antigen testing. Uh, that's exactly right. The governor really stopped short of saying that these rapid tests will be the ones that will primarily be used at state-run uh, state testing sites, including the one at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens. The state was already administering these antigen tests, these rapid tests, to people with symptoms and the elderly. And while they are cheaper wow. and quick, God results enjoy. usually take about 15 minutes, there have been questions surrounding the accuracy of the results. Health experts note that rapid tests are likely to return a false false negative result if the test is not administered early on in the infection. The governor of Ohio is perhaps the most notable example. He was tested using the exact same kit that is being used in Florida ahead of a meeting with President Trump last month, and that result was wrong. That said, most health experts do believe that these antigen tests do capture enough active infections to provide a sense of exactly where this virus might be spreading. But what we're going to be doing is not just nursing homes, not just long-term care facilities, but we are gonna have priority for any senior center, any retirement community. If there are some additional long-term care that didn't get the federal shipment, then we would be looking to do that as well. All right, so the concerns uh, about the accuracy of these results was great enough that at one point, Miami-Dade County debated whether these rapid tests would need a second test, the ones that usually take about uh, one to three days to get a result. If those results will, uh, those, uh test would be needed to confirm the results of one of these rapid tests. A lot of these antigen tests are being eyed by school districts across the state as well as sporting organizations as a way to test as many people as possible and get these results within 15 minutes. Again, the governor says they are expecting to take an even greater shipment of these tests. They will be going to uh, all these type of senior care facilities and that most likely they would become this primary test uh, testing technique at their state run testing sites. He was confident that the accuracy of these results were good enough that the test is valid to use. That was what he said at a uh, hospital in uh, Clearwater earlier this morning. We are live in Wynwood. I'm Carlos Suarez, NBC6 News.